So once you have created your register network, now me, you want to run a simulation, but the purpose is to measure the voltage across this register or current through um, going through each registers. So you can come to this point V here, it says analysis and annotation. Click on this one, it will show you the current. So if you know the current going through this register, you can click put it here. Um, let's put it um, down here because I also want some space um, for the um, voltage. So I'll just put current here. Okay. Um, you want to measure the current after. Um, there's a funny thing here. See the arrow. I put this current this direction and this current this direction. So the value should be opposite, but we'll see. Again, you can you want to measure the current going through this um, register and you can copy and do another um, point here to know the current going through this register. So once you are um, done with current, you can just hit the run simulation button on the top. It should give you the current. So the negative tells you the current is going this direction. And how can you know is that um, you see this direction is positive and at the end, since I put the current direction that way to measure, it shows me negative. So the current is going through this direction. Um, and also for this too, the current is going this direction. Um, and for this one, again, this direction. Um, so let's pause or stop. So if you stop, it will go back to um, editing mode. And now let's see, we are going to measure some voltage across the registers. So how do you do it? You select, um, so voltage is across the register. So you have to select one point before the register and select the B minus. It says the add reference probe. So the reference probe would be the other side of the register. Um, so we'll do this. Again, I'll do another voltage, uh, one uh, before the resistance. It'll ask for the reference probe and we want after. And then again, I have one more resistor left. So a before, oh, here, before and reference point is after. So once you have that, you'll see there is no value on the uh, voltage because we're not running the simulation. For the current, it is the value from previous simulation. So let's run the um, um, circuit and see how it performs. So it shows you the voltage. Um, the voltage is showing negative because my reference point was from here to there. If you would have selected the other way, it will give you positive. So let's see, um, pause or stop and let's um, delete. A reference point delete and do voltage start here reference point here and then let's run now it become positive so it depend on the reference point you select um, and you will get the um, voltage so since we did the other two from um, left to right I will also do the same for this one I'll delete this one. I'll also delete this one. Let's do um, voltage from this point and the reference point from this one. And um, they all have negative. I also want to see the um, voltage 12 here. Um, if we measure, we'll also get 12. So let's see um, if you um, can get um, same overall voltage drop compared to um, um, the total voltage drop on each of those register. So you see it says negative 6.5141 and the voltage drop since they are parallel the voltage drop is the same for this one and 470 ohm so if you sum 5.485 and 6.5141 you will get 12. 
So this is one um, easy example of how can you do a simulation of simple register circuit and analyze for voltage across the resistors and current passing through those resistors.